So today's video is going to be very interesting. Um, this young woman right here um, lied about flirting her way out of a DUI from a police officer. Let's get into it. I have a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> Could it be true? Did this teen really flirt her way out of a DUI? <laughs> no DUI for me, bitches. 18-year-old high school student Skylar Floss posted the video on social media. First off, she's mid. All right, she's a five at best. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what she looks like without makeup on. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why a lot of these women have boosted egos is because you thirsty better male simp soy boys have been boosting their egos for all these years, liking their pictures, combining heart emoji, combining wet, wet emoji. Like, bro. This is the reason why they feel entitled to do stuff like this. They think they can flirt their way out of everything. They think they can give a uh, do poo yeti and everything will be okay. No, that's not how it works. Claiming she was pulled over for drunk driving, but talked her way out of it after giving a sob story about breaking up with her boyfriend. I was like, I just got out of a really bad relationship. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you we don't care. It was really toxic and he dumped me. I mean, y'all like toxic relationships anyway, so who cares? Really toxic and he dumped me. She even says she failed a breathalyzer, but instead of arresting her, she claims the cop asked her out. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a warning. Stop the cap. And gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. Stop the cap. The teen also posted video she says was from earlier in the night that shows her chugging tequila and goofing around. She belongs to the streets. That's where she belongs, guys. I mean, any woman that wears this type of outfit at a party, at the club, you you know, that's 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 a walking lick right there. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get the buns right there, this is the woman that's gonna give it to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is it's literally that easy. You know, but these are the type of women that you do need to stray, stay away from when it comes to relationships and stuff like that. Wifing, these are not wifey material. Um, these are Thocubus, Succubus, Incubus, Jezebel spirits at best. Was from earlier in the night that shows her chugging tequila it. and goofing around. Straight from the bottle. Now the sheriff's office is fighting back, releasing this body cam video that shows what really happened. Potter and 4K. Weaving a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really upset. Okay. How those crocodile tears flowed. Were you base reporter? Base reporter in the comment section below. Hashtag base reporter in the comment section below. There's there's just no way that he said crocodile tears. Most of these reporters are like blue pill simps, soy boys. But you know what I'm saying he actually. Got some red pill knowledge. He, he knows about female nature because this is another manipulation tactic. You know what I'm saying? As soon as a woman is held accountable or, you know, she, you know, is in the wrong. The first thing they're probably going to do is either start crying or start to gaslight you or just try to manipulate you to feel bad. Like you're the reason that she did it or something like that. And that's what's going on right here. On your phone and stuff too. I was trying to call him to get a hold of him because my heart. The officer shows compassion. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol. But if you're on your phone, have you been drinking or anything tonight? You see, you see how, you know, and he knows that the body cam is on. So right now he's trying to give her a break. So oh, if you were on your phone, then you know it's all good, you know, because if it was me, if I was the police officer, I'd be like, yeah, I, I, I don't care, get out the car. You know what I'm saying? You seem like you've been drinking. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take this breathalyzer. And then she would have been in cuffs. That would have been tough. You know what I'm saying? She would have got charged for underage drinking. But that's not my problem. You know what I'm saying? We need to start as as men. We need to start holding women accountable. I don't care if you're a police officer, firefighter. Just whatever job you do, just in general. You need to start holding them to this standard. Because now they feel like they can get away with everything. You know what I'm saying? I know that the laws are for them and they're against men but as men masculine men we need to start holding women accountable facts right no okay he checks her license and registration and when he returns a few minutes later he seems like a good guy sounds like you're having a rough night so i'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything okay contrary to the teens claims there was no breathalyzer and he definitely did not ask her out now let this let this had been a man you see 
if this was a man in a car, he was crying, saying, hey, you know, I had a really bad night, you know, my girl just broke up with me, you know what I'm saying? I just caught my wife cheating on me with Tyrone and Chad, and they was just, they was just going ham on my wife, man, you know, and I walked in, and I dropped the groceries on the ground, I dropped all the eggs and the milk, and, you know, I'm just having a bad night, man. Listen, the officer would have been like, oh, well, yeah, that's too bad, buddy, you know, you could have killed somebody, get out the car, you know, th- th- let's take a walk, walk in a straight line. Buddy would have blew on the breathalyzer if it was over 3.8. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. You're going to jail. You know what I'm saying? But since it's a woman, a white woman, if that, because listen, white women are most protected women on the planet. She got away with a warning. So I mean, she got away with drunk driving because she was drunk and she's underage. She's 18. But since she's a white woman, since she's a blonde haired white woman, right? Since she's a woman in general, she gets to get away with it. Just like women get away with abortion. Just like women get away with uh, false accusations against men. Got men in jail for grape for something that they didn't do, spending 20 years behind bars, and then they get out. And then the court proves that, oh, he didn't actually do it. So then they give him millions of dollars. Like That money is going to give him back the time that he lost. Like, come on, bro. You can't make this up. Claims there was no breathalyzer, and he definitely did not ask her out. Today, I spoke with the officer, Deputy Tyler Stahl of the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office in Colorado. What was your initial reaction to this girl's claims that she flirted her way out of a DUI? I couldn't believe it. And he weak. You know what I'm saying? This is a weak man right here. He's a simp. You know what I'm saying? If it was me, if I was the officer, I ain't gonna lie. You got to get out the car. You got to take this breathalyzer because there's no way you're going to be driving, swerving in and out of lanes. You know what I'm saying? All this suspicious driving, I'm not about to test you. But this man let this young woman get away with it because he knew that she was drunk. He knew. Like, oh, you're having a bad night. You know, you gave me this weak sob, this weak sob story about your boyfriend breaking up with you and he was toxic. Like, I don't care about that. I care about the people's lives that you are putting in danger. You know what I'm saying? And these are the men that we need to stay away from. Men like this that, you know, that cater to women, that put women on a pedestal and don't think that women can't do anything wrong. These simp, better male soy boys, these are the men that are enabling this thought behavior, that are enabling this bad behavior from women and men. It's not okay. Yeah, when, when, when they, I'm glad I was sitting down when I got the phone call. If you didn't have the body cam, what, what would have happened here? It would have been a he said, she said, and it would not have been good right away. Turn. Yep. And they would have believed this stockybus, succubus, incubus spirit over you. And you would have lost your job. You would have lost your pension. You would have lost everything. You probably would have lost your wife. Your wife would have left you, divorced you. You would have lost your kids. Like there's so many. This situation could have gone wrong. If it wasn't for the body cam, it would have been over. It would have been GG's. That story would have went viral. They would have eventually figured out who the cop was. The cop would have been fired. And then this woman right here, they'd be like, oh, my God, I can't believe like this old creepy guy. No, this guy right here, this this fat man was trying to be a predator, even though she's 18 years old and she's legal. You know, he was a predator and he's trying to take advantage of you. And like this narrative could have went sideways, bro. Tyler is a senior at Columbine High School, the site of the horrific school shooting in 1999. Of course, she's a school threat. She says if the embarrassing video is proof of anything, it's that she still has a lot of growing up to do. So I'm guessing she didn't get in trouble for underage drinking. I mean, she is 18 years old. And, you know, in the United States of America, you got to be 21 years old to drink. So inside edition, I'm not going to report on that. Like what happened? Like she didn't get in trouble. Like did her parents get mad? Like what's up with this bro like it's just it seems like it's just all on the cops fault like and these are the people this is the next generation of women that we have like we got we have women out here drinking and driving at the age of 18 let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below let's have a discussion um if you're new to the channel subscribe like the video man appreciate all the support lately man it's been your boy base chris and i'm out peace